Haiti's Prime Minister Ariel Henry is trying to get back to the country. It's to calm a surge in violent gang attacks, but Haiti's top gang leader is vowing to prevent him from returning. Today, Prime Minister Henry landed in Puerto Rico. CBS News Miami's Anna McAllister is live in North Miami. Anna, local Haitian leaders gathered there today. What was their message? Yeah, ladies, there were several local Haitian groups, leaders, and community members coming together, and they want to find ways that they can help the people in Haiti as violence continues to plague the country. I want to bring you some video now of what happened over the weekend, just showing how intense the situation is over there. Gangs, they freed thousands of inmates from two of the biggest prisons in the country. They've been shooting and exchanging gunfire with police and soldiers. And right now, they're also trying to seize the international airport. And so far, both Miami and Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airports have stopped flights going to and from the country. And it's important to remember that Haiti has not had an election since 2016. So today, at today's event with this press conference, local Haitian leaders, they were talking about ways that they can help people in Haiti and help them try to get control of the situation. Let's take a listen to see what they had to say. About that 80 percent of the brain of Haiti is outside of the country and all ready to give our help to the nation. So all we want is the opportunity. Allow the people to, to conduct their destiny. And coming up at 11 o'clock tonight, we're going to hear more from Haitian leaders and community members here in South Florida. And they're pleased to the Biden-Harris administration to get involved to help stop the violence in Haiti. But for now, reporting live from North Miami, Adam McAllister, CBS News, Miami.